Hey everyone, Austin here from Radial Engineering, and today we're gonna look at what reamping is and how it can open up your music creation process. Let's get started. To start, let's do an experiment. Say you have a session guitar player who's coming in for a time-sensitive session. You either have time to get good takes or get a good sounding tone, not both. In this case, what you can do, you can record the guitar player using a DI box, which will sound something like this. Of course, that's not the guitar sound that we've all come to know and love. So what you can do after the guitar player's left the session is use a reamp box to re-record the guitar tone directly to the amp of choice, which then sounds something like this. And that is what reamping is all about. Certain pieces of gear, like audio interfaces, mixers, or even keyboards, output a low impedance line level signal. However, the guitars and basses that we usually use instead output a high impedance instrument level signal. The guitar amps and pedals that we usually are looking to use for reamping do expect a high impedance signal instead of a low impedance one. This is why when you connect an audio interface directly to the amps or pedals, they don't sound quite as right instead of plugging a guitar or bass into it instead. What a reamp box does is convert the low impedance line level output from your audio interface into a high impedance instrument level signal for use with your guitar amps and pedals. Reamping opens up a bunch of creative avenues. You can do things like patch any pre-recorded track through your guitar amp, use your effects pedals as line level outboard gear, or a bunch of other creative ideas that we'll touch on more later. Radial has a whole selection of different reamp boxes for a wide variety of different reamping applications, but in general the whole record now, tweak later concept is usually the most popular form of reamping that we see. But with that said, keep your eyes peeled for the next video in our Reamping 101 series, where I show you how to get the perfect guitar reamping workflow. So until then, take care and happy tweaking.